Breathe in, breathe out. Deep breath. Clear your mind and center yourself for this episode of Schoology and You. As always, feel free to pause, rewind, and rewatch this and any of the other videos in the series to aid you in learning Schoology. Not all assignments we give as teachers need to be graded, despite what our students want to believe. In this video and the next, we're going to be looking at creating assignments, but for right now, we're going to be looking at ungraded assignments. So when posting an assignment, we want to go into the materials option, and we can either post directly into one of the folders using the little plus signs, or we can go up here and click add materials and add assignment. When it does that, it's going to bring up the Create Assignment page, where we are going to be able to name our assignment, give a description, along with embedding some things, like files, links, resources, um, some audio and video recording, or external tools, which we'll talk about later, and then we're going to talk about what's going on down here. But for right now, we are going to name this Sandcastle Read and Respond, I'm going to give directions, read the Sandcastle story and respond to the questions on the Google Doc. So we're going to actually attach two documents to this because I want you to be able to see how we can do both. First thing we're going to attach is we're going to attach a resource. So I'm going to go into my resources and I'm going to find the Sandcastle story. And I'm going to attach it. So now students have access to the story. I also want to have them be able to edit a document. So I'm going to go in here and this is the Sandcastle read and respond assignment that I created in Google Drive using Google Docs. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to attach it. Now right here it says this will create a copy of your file for each student, which means that each student is going to have their own document. It's going to create a new folder in Google Drive that is specifically for Schoology. Please do not delete or rename these folders that appear in your Google Drive, otherwise you will lose the student's assignments. Now we're going to give this a due date. So let's say this is going to be due by August 7th. Okay. Now I'm going to make this ungraded for right now. So that way students don't have to worry about a grade and I don't have to worry about the rest of this. Now down here we have a few options. We can lock the assignment, which we'll talk about later. We can either publish the students to this to students now or if it's an assignment that they're going to have next week, um, we can leave it unpublished. And we'll talk about grade statistics later. So we're going to create the assignment now. And because I didn't put it in a folder, it's going to pop down here at the end of my list. But it even says due Friday, August 7th at 11.59 p.m., which is the standard time they normally give students. And the directions are also there. Now notice over here on the right side where it says upcoming. It has the events, including the sandbox discussion we made before, and now it has the assignment. This will also appear on the student side of things so that way they have a constant reminder of when they're in your course, what is coming up, and what is due. I'm going to drag this into my folder, and I want to put it in my week one folder as an assignment. And now my assignment lives in the folder. So next video, we're going to talk about creating graded assignments and how to grade it.